pressed flowers preserved on rocks are a beautiful way to showcase your summer blooms. To make pressed flowers, you will need small, freshly cut blooms that are relatively thin, parchment paper, and three or four heavy books. Fold two pieces of parchment paper in half, just a little bigger than the books that you will be using. Open up the book in the middle and insert the parchment paper, making sure to press it down into the crease. Arrange the flowers on one side so that they are as flat as possible and are not touching each other. Carefully close the book so the flowers are in between the pieces of parchment paper and pile on two or three heavy books. Let them sit for 10 days to two weeks. Once that much time has passed, check and make sure your flowers are completely dried and they're ready to use. To make the rocks, you will need stones that are relatively flat on one side, Mod Podge, a paintbrush, and your pressed flowers. Wash and dry the rocks before you start so that they are completely clean. Spread a layer of Mod Podge across the surface of the rock. Carefully place the pressed flowers on the Mod Podge. You want to make sure you know where they're going to go ahead of time because you don't get a second chance to stick them down. Add a little Mod Podge under places that don't quite stick down with your first layer, such as this stem. When you add tiny flowers such as these, it might be easier just to pick them up with the tip of the paintbrush instead of with your fingers. Once all the flowers are in place, you want to put a heavy coat of Mod Podge over the whole thing. Use a very light touch so that you don't damage the fragile leaves or petals of the flowers. So work gently, use a thicker coat than you might normally do on a project. Also paint the Mod Podge around the sides so that the rock um, looks consistent. Once everything is stuck down, let the rock completely dry and you're finished. Please subscribe to my channel so I can keep bringing you new craft videos every week.